Hi guys, happy Sunday. So we're gonna do the melting basket for the week. I know, I can't believe it's already Sunday. But anyway, so here we go. All right, so if you guys don't know, when I do these uh, warming baskets, it's kind of like my mini re review in them because I've been warming them and trying them. So what I'm working on finishing is Teddy B's Sundresses and Lemonade. It's frozen ozone and air, roses, jasmine, lavender, vanilla, melon, sugared lemon with a fizzy twist. I really enjoyed this. I'm not a big fresh person, but this has done really well. Um, so I just got a loaf, another loaf in it, so I was, I'm working on this loaf. I really enjoyed this scent. It froze very, very well for me. This is L3 Sweet Dreams. I started warming this last night. Beautiful color wax. This is a really good bedtime or like calming wax cotton candy frosting sweet lavender jet puff marshmallows i really enjoy this a lot okay some scentsy i don't think i have much in here this one is man i dropped something oh my goodness this was in my laundry room um so and bet my husband's bathroom so they're smaller spaces this one is very clean it's okay, but I, w I just wanted to use up that clam. So I did finish that. This is Satin Sheets. This is leaving the catalog on the first. This is in my club. I have like eight of these. I love, love this scent for my bedroom. Love that scent for my bedroom. Okay, we'll do my other empties at the end. So I warmed some Rose, Isle <laughs> Rose Girl Island Paradise. This is a, just a nice tropical blend now I said in my last basket that I was having some issues with throw so I did find if I use a full cute mini melter then I had better luck so I just think I'm gonna have to use a little more than I wanted to to get the throw that I want but I do enjoy this scent I wouldn't repurchase that scent though because there's so many scents that are just tropical that I like a little better Okay, and then here is that combo. I tried this again, but I used a whole mini melter. So I had cut these in half, but I did end up throwing two in each warmer, alternating with this one. So this is Rose Girl Strawberry Jam, and I mixed it with Southbound Basic Blender Peanut Butter Cookies. I don't know if this is in our pre-order. I need to check if this is the one, because I would like some more, because it's almost gone. I have one more little package of this, but this blended together was really good. I enjoyed this. But again, I had to use full mini melter in every warmer. This one I'm almost done. This is really good. This is vintage chick. There's no plays like Mahomes. I don't know. So enjoy a magic crunching topped, or enjoy a bowl of magic crunching top with blueberries and raspberries before you head to the Super Bowl. I don't get it. It smells like a cereal blend. It's almost gone. I really tried hard to finish it, but I just couldn't pack my warmers any fuller, so I just hate that. Okay, Ebony Violet. This is a cereal marshmallow bar type, so it's gooey marshmallows and fruity pebbles. Uh, it was, it's okay. It's not my favorite fruity pebbles blend. I wouldn't repurchase this one in particular. Her wax is really soft. This one threw like a beast. It was poured in April of 2021. Um, so... I, this one was okay. It's not a favorite of mine. I have a couple more souffles I bought from her. This one, we did. nobody liked this one. This is her Girl 6. It's strawberry, kiwi, and bubble gum. This smells super powdery. I didn't enjoy this. My son came in my bedroom, so I did this in my bedroom and my bathroom because I was trying to get her throw and try out some of her products because I do like to review what I'm using and let you guys know. It threw like great in those rooms, like nine out of 10. So did her other wax. This is just too, too powdery. I feel like it's it's just not a good blend for what I like for bubble gum. My one son came in my room and said it smelled like olives. I was like, olives? That's what he said, okay? He, that's my 14 year old. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. The throw is great, but I just don't, it's just too powdery for my nose. Um, this is Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Be Quirky. It's Beach Nights, which I love. Sandalwood, Sugar Cookies, and Birthday. Mm. 
this is such a good one. And I only use one of these in each of my six warmers. It threw beautifully. So I, you know, I know these are like $9.65, but I used this one day and I only made a dent in, I mean, I broke up a lot because I thought I was going to really use quite a bit, but I literally only used six cubes. So I really enjoy the scent. Her throw is consistent for me in my home. Okay, what else did I use? Um, I'm using this in my husband's bathroom right now. This is Simo. It's Zen and White Linen. So more of a fresh. These were these little pots or something they were. Um, I did a mystery order with them. I get good throw. I just, I don't always like, like I like wax that's simple that you, that isn't like, that isn't an object. I feel like it's just harder to cut and I like when they offer both so you can get some scents that are fun and then some scents that are just souffles or mini loaves or whatever. I just don't want, and this wax is really hard to cut. Um, I have good performance with her wax. It's just a little bit on the pricey side for me personally. And like I said, their blends are just, it seems like, I don't know. I need to do my review on companies that I've used because I've got a lot to say. Some is good and some is bad. And the pharmacist's daughter, Lemon Dream, this was a souffle. I cut this up yesterday. <laughs> Through like a beast. It was like 10 out of 10. I went, was in and out of my house. Like I was this morning, hence my tank top because I'm in and out of the house, um, doing stuff, cleaning, setting my hammock, gardening, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I was in and out of the house and I was like, this is a strong lemon. Okay, so this is Lemon Dream. It's lemon curd rice crispy treats. Good, but not my favorite from them. They have the French lemon tart I bought a loaf of in her customs. I really like that one a little bit more, but this was good. I really tried to use this whole souffle because I have a lot of warmers, and if I use my mini warmers, there's two more of those. If I go into my dining room in my entryway, there's two more there, but I just, it was so strong. I was like, okay, we're not going to finish it. I, <laughs> I just can't. I think I'm going to do what Lori, Lori Brown did here on YouTube. She did like a leftovers week where all she used was these but Lori I have no idea how you did that because then do you only put it in certain warmers because this would never fill six of mine so I have to watch your your weekly basket again to see how the heck you did that okay this one rainbow melts has a um a pre-sale going on and I need to get some of that because so I had ordered from her like months and months ago this is maybe February March and I did I hope I posted this video um, this is Sweet Treaks. It's Cookie Heaven and Bum Bum. So, such a good Bum Bum. Oh my gosh. To me though, this almost smells like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and Bum Bum. Like, I don't know why. Just because the Bum Bum and then the smoothiness. I don't know. It just the cookie part wasn't like overly powering. When I walked in my bedroom and bathroom, I felt like it was more Bum Bum than anything, which I'm not complaining about. And her Bum Bum is creamy. Um, so this was her bars she has, and I cut each of the regular ones in half. So I used about half of this in my bedroom and bath, and it threw like a beast, like great throw. So I have been happy with her, so I am going to order from the pre-order. I, you guys should be so proud of me. I'm going to just tell you I'm a little bit proud of myself. L3 had a restock on Friday, and I didn't order one thing. I stayed away from it. I'm like, girl, you have so much L3. It's ridiculous. I gotta start using it. I don't even think I warmed any of this. Oh, I did warm some this week. But seriously, I stayed away from that. I didn't order from Britta's. Um, the reason why I didn't order from Britta's was because she did a pre-order, but I think it's like fall, but it's all new scents, so I don't know the scents, and I'm just really not fond of that. Uh, and she didn't do any customs with her ready to ship and I want to do some customs because some of her stuff is a little more masculine um, than I like. So there's a few customs I want to do. So I'm going to wait until she does that next month. Um, I missed Dessa's had her two different Disney launches and she sold out in like an hour. I was not feeling well yesterday. I will tell you that I was struggling with my anxiety 
It was just through the roof. I have no idea why. So I literally had to sit outside and have some me time. And just, I don't know what, what was bothering me yesterday. I Today I've been praying a lot. I've watched a couple of my morning sermons that I do listen to by Pastor Greg Locke. I love him. He's very opinionated like myself. Um, but I just really needed to take a moment for myself and just not be in front of my phone and just be like, what is bothering me? So today I spent a lot of time in prayer just because I hate feeling like I'm overwhelmed and I can't breathe. I just, it's a terrible feeling. So today I put on makeup. I listened to my sermon. I was reading some of my Bible this morning. Um, my kids are painting rocks for me right now for our garden. Um, Anyway, I missed Dessa's and I really honestly was very disappointed that it sold out so quickly um, because she sells out every time she does something. So to me, that's like you should stock more and she does such limited releases that that is what happens with her. And I, so I just was like, forget it. I saved 50, another $50. I didn't do Britta's. I didn't do, I missed Dessa's and I didn't do all three. Cause girl, I got enough wax. I need to, I'm going to do some D stashes too. Cause I got too much. Okay. I don't love it. It's gone. Okay. This is Sassy Wax Melts. Now she's closed until September. This is a custom blend that I did. It's called Flintstones. It's Fruity Pebbles Ice Cream Funnel Cake. Um, I have this in my warmers right now. I put it in right before bed and then I shut all my warmers off. I didn't turn my warmers on because I was wondering if the wax or the oils were making me a little more anxious. So I shut off all my warmers today, so it's all off. I, I have nothing going in my house, um, so it's a little bit hard for me. So I did, like, maybe it was an hour that it was on, so I, it did smell good. It was, I could smell it everywhere in my living room and my open concept area. So I enjoy this. I would like it a little stronger on the Fruity Pebbles. It's not as strong as I would like it, to, to tell you the truth. So I don't know if, if you guys know of any vendors that have just regular Fruity Pebbles, I would like to add that to some of these because I've apparently been obsessed with Fruity Pebbles. It's not the same as Fruit Loops. I don't care what you say. Okay, this I got. I didn't even post my haul yet of this. This is um, Super Tarts Jaws. I don't know the scent notes. It smells like, is it Salty Sea Air Ozone? It's really good. It's really good. I bought two BAM bags of this. I haven't even recorded my video yet because yesterday I was struggling and I got this yesterday in the mail. And I wanted to warm it right away because this is one that everyone talks about, so I did want to warm it. I did order two BAM bags and a um, clam of Middle Earth because that scent I've been, like, I have been watching videos forever on Super Tarts and Middle Earth is one that just totally speaks to me. So I literally ordered two bags and a clam and I really wish I would have ordered another bag because that just speaks to me. I love, as a gardener maybe, that's why I love those earthy scents. But this was great. I did this in my bedroom and my bathroom. It threw phenomenal. I love, love the color. My bedroom is like a bluish gray. So this was beautiful in my warmers. So I have the cord warmer and then I have in my bedroom and then I have a my little Disney chip warmer in my bathroom and I have a two in one warmer in my bathroom. So great throwers in that in those two rooms. OK, I did post this video of Ava's country cupboard. She has a restock. Is it tonight? Oh, I got to look. I think she does. Yes, I am going to order I, this, I, she poured this on 624 and today is what, the 17th, 16th, 17th, 18th, I don't know, it's Sunday. So anyway, this has been rough, let's say three weeks, okay? This was elephant ear, it's fried dough sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar. I did this the day that I posted the video, the day I got this. I warmed this and it was great. I left this in my main area for two days because it was such a good blend and it was continuing to throw, which for vendor wax, I was like, seriously, it's still, I can still smell it in my house. There's only a few that, that happens where it's really holds on. And I was like, I loved it, so I didn't change it. So this was great. I really liked it and I'm gonna order some more from hers. Okay, so what I did finish, which wasn't a lot to me I in my brain, but Dreamweaver from L3, I only had like, three or four pieces of this left, so I wanted to finish this. This is lavender cream, sugar cookie dough bread. This I really like for bedtime. 
Oh, it's such a good one because of that. But I have so, okay, I have, I put in my, my closet where my wax is, I put bedtime blends in a bin, and then I have my daytime ones for my master and my bathroom. So I've been, that's where I pull from. And then I have another basket for where I pull from my main open concept area. So I have so much bedtime wax. I'm just not reordering it, but it was great. I get good performance with L3. Another one of hers is Saltwater Mermaid Fizzy Soda. This is great, but it smells like a aquatic, fizzy. I have a lot of these, again, from her. That's why I didn't order anymore because it's great. It smells wonderful, but I have so much wax. I don't need any more until I start going through what I have. And L3 is the most wax I have, so that's why I did not order. I, unless you guys see, I put a spell on you, which is my favorite because I'm almost done with one of my scoopables, so I really want to loaf in that. This one is Cookie Crack. This is Pink Frost and Animal Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, Whipped Cream. This was good. I, I, I didn't have much of this, so I wanted to finish it. Like I said, if there's a little bit left, I kind of pulled from that so I could finish that. I'm just going to, these, some of these are ones I did in my laundry room. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is Birdie's Making Sense. It is strawberry, raspberry, guava. These were the little chips. I wanted to finish those because I have two bags of these. It was really good. Just almost fizzy-ish kind of scent, but it technically doesn't say there's fizzy, but I got a fizzy note. Lavender cream from L3. Again, I use this in my bedroom. I wanted to finish it. It was from February. Like I said, I, I just have so much L3. I need to get it I need to move some of it out before I order more. Like literally, it's ridiculous. Okay, this is Dessa's. This is blueberry lemon bars, sweet blueberries, lemon curd, crunchy buttery topping. This did not smell like blueberry lemon bars. It smelled like lemon curd, very, very strong lemon curd with this, whatever her blueberry is, I don't know. I didn't like it. And holy gosh, was it strong. So yeah, I used all of this because some vendors, I cut this in six and then I put it in my six warmers in my dining room and um, kitchen area. And this literally, I couldn't handle it anymore. It was so stinking strong. I had to take it out of my house. Holy gosh. Do you guys not use as much of her wax? Because it was super strong. I didn't care for the scent either, but it was so dang strong, I couldn't handle it. So let me know, do you use less of Dessa's? Like I said, I still have some from a couple months ago I ordered from like a mystery thing she had. I haven't been able to get anything else from her and clearly I missed it on Saturday. So if you got some, I'm happy for you because I suck and I didn't. Okay, now these are the ones I finished in my husband's bedroom, so I did in my laundry room and my husband's bathroom. I, these are from, um, Hayden Row, and these are like the little ducks or their little bit samples that you get once a month. She does them. This was Pink Stiletto. She doesn't have the notes on this. This is really good. I enjoy this scent. I think I have a souffle in this. Uh, this one is Seaside Barber, Salty Sierra Barbershop 1920. I put the her throw is fabulous, like great. And Luna is going in my laundry room. I stuck the whole duck in my laundry room because I was like, uh. So I have a Scentsy warmer that's ceramic in my laundry room. And I have a glass wildlife one in my husband's bathroom. Because that kind of goes with the theme in there. But I will tell you the glass Scentsy warmers suck. In my opinion, if they're the glass glass, they don't throw as well with fender wax. You can put the Scentsy wax in them and they're fine. But if you put a like vendor wax especially some of these harder firmer oh there's a fly if you put some different wax in there it won't warm it well or at all so i i'm gonna maybe take his warmer out and put it in a different area i mean it's okay because it's just our guest bathroom and his bathroom so he's not home when he's working all day obviously so it doesn't need to be and those two rooms are right across from each other and the other sensi ceram ceramic warmer mini warmer that i have in there throw as well so it works in that hallway um but i will tell you that my own from me personally the ceramic sensi warmers throws vendor wax the best some of the element warmers like the accord warmer which if you can get your hands on you're lucky Luckily, one of my friends who sells Scentsy, she had it and didn't want it, and I got it from her, and I was so happy to get it, because I hear they go for a lot of money on like different websites, eBay and Macari, but that one throws well in my bedroom, 
And like I said, I just don't have well, I don't have good luck with um, wax performance with the little glass mini warmers and even some of the lower wattage glass ones. So that's why in my house I have two-in-ones from candlewarmers.com. I have Sensi Ceramic. I have Sensi Edison Bulb. I have Sensi High Voltage uh, 25 watt glass ones. So I have a, and mini warmers that are ceramic. So I have a lot of warmers in those two open concept kitchen dining room area that just throws really well for me. So I'm okay with that. All right, that enough of me rambling. Um, hopefully I can edit this down to below 20 minutes. I am gonna go do some gardening. My husband and my three older boys were camping this weekend, so they should be home anytime and my house will get very loud. So I need to end this before they get here. They should be here any anytime now. Anyway, I hope that you can find something today that brings you joy and that you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye guys.